Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish you guys all a happy Hallow's Eve. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope that you guys are doing good with these crazy energies. Uh, October and the beginning of November are going to be very crazy to say the least. So without further ado, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is the Seven of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Death card, and the Lover's card. Wow. Okay. All right, Cancers. With the Seven of Cups, I see that there's a lot of confusion going on in regards to your relationship or in regards to the person that you're currently dealing with. You have the Four of Swords and the Page of Wands, which leads me to believe to believe there's been some type of communication. Um, it could have been you, Cancer, that reached out to the person of your interest, or it could have been that um, a person that you were interested in in the past could have reached out to you. But it's like they quickly put a stop to it or you quickly put a stop to it. And with the Seven of Cups, it's like they've been in this situation where they've been confused about their feelings for you. This could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading, okay? So this could also imply uh, that you, Cancer, have been confused about your feelings towards this person. And with the Four of Swords, someone in this situation either has grown tired of it or is no longer willing to allow you or for you to allow them to come into your life whenever they want. With the Page of, of Wands, I feel that they're not done. And for some of you guys, they could have reached out to you already. For others, they will be reaching out by the end of this month. But with the seven of wands here, there's a need for you to stand your ground. There is a need for you to give them the opportunity to validate if there was hurt or some type of betrayal in this relationship. Because I see them wanting to reach out or reaching out to you, but it's like in a petty way. It's like, it's like a, what comes to mind is like receiving a text. And them saying like, you know, do you miss me, right? After not being in your life for like six months or three months or three weeks for some of you guys. It's like they don't know how to open the communication. So they're just going to go with the whim and whatever comes to their mind, that's what they're going to tell you. So I see you guys being stumped, being like, what the hell? Like, is... Is she really going to text me after not texting me for like three months? Or is he going to text me after six months out of the blue and just be like, do you miss me? Like, what do you mean? But the reaction they're wanting to get is a reaction, meaning they want to see or feel that you that they can still get under your skin, meaning that you're still attached to the situation or that they can come back around because there's still feelings there. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is you need to stand your ground. Either don't take the bait unless they come at you the right way. With the death card, there is a transformation that's happening and the lover's card. So for some of you guys, it could represent an ex coming back around and trying to communicate in a petty way, trying to get a rise out of you. But I see you guys with the death card walking towards a new relationship or a new partnership. For some of you guys, you guys are already currently dating someone else. For others of you, love is coming towards you. But what they're saying here is in order for, and like I said, keep in mind, we have Pluto return. So, and we also have Ketu in the eighth house, Scorpio. So, Pluto rules over that. And that is all to do with the subconscious. That is all to do with our deepest, darkest desires. That is all to do with what we've been suppressing, what we haven't been honest with ourselves about. This also represents scandals. This also represents 
people being pushed to acknowledge what you've been keeping underneath, whether it's good or whether it's bad. We need to acknowledge that because it's like, and then we also have Mars. Mars is activated. So Mars is aggression, right? It's action. So what they're forcing you to do, Cancer, is to acknowledge your deepest, darkest desires. So if this person from your past really got under your skin and there was genuine love there, more than likely there's going to be some type of reaction from you. But what they're telling you is be smart about it. Don't take the bait or don't react in a very aggressive way that lets them know you're still connected to them. Remember, when we allow other people to get a rise out of us, you're giving up your power, right? Because you're reacting the way they more than likely are expecting you to react to. Don't give up your power so easily. There is major transformations and changes happening here in regards directly to your love life. And what they're saying is, if this person from your past, there's unresolved issues or unresolved feelings, let that be that, but let it go after that. Because it's time for you to embrace new beginnings. It's time for you to embrace a new relationship, a new connection that's coming towards you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Gemini. For others of you, you may be dealing with a Scorpio energy. But there is definitely love that's coming towards you, Cancer. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while and you've been holding on to the feeling of not being enough or not being able to find someone that genuinely loves you, that genuinely cares for you, Ketu is sitting in the, in the Scorpio sign telling you, do you feel not worthy? Because if you don't feel worthy, you're going to continuously keep bringing people into your life that are not going to love you genuinely and that are going to take advantage of you because you feel that you're not worthy. So it's time for you to acknowledge that so that you can heal from that and learn to put all the love that you have to give to someone, pour it on yourself, Cancer, make yourself a priority, love yourself enough. When you start to do this, Ketu is sitting right across, I mean, Rahu sitting right across Ketu in Taurus, saying, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to give you these blessings. I'm waiting to bring to you this new opportunity of love that is going to make you happy, that is going to make you genuinely happy. But you have to put in the work. It's not going to come easy. And we also have Saturn sitting <laughs> We have all kind of, we also have conjunctions going on. Um, it, it's, it's a lot to handle. This month is going to be very heavy energy. And we're purging ourselves from things that are no longer working for us. This is behaviors, uh, psychology-wise, uh, psychological-wise, uh, things that we do in relationships that become toxic or hinder our connections with other people. And it's about self-realizing, self-actualizing. And the only way to do that is really to get to the, you know, the dirty, the needy greedy and acknowledging that so that we can move on from that and heal and walk towards Rahu, which is a very, uh, a momentum of blessings coming your way, but only if you put in the work. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight or clarity. And um, you guys stay safe. Happy Hallow's Eve, everyone. Bye.